Hello, I am back with the second part of Infinity on Legendary for the Halo Halo 4 speedrunning tutorials. Today we'll be covering from Checkpoint Charlie till the end of the mission. So when you start out, you're going to have the default weapons of the Assault Rifle and the DMR. No matter what weapons you had from the previous section, they will not carry over into this part. So what we're going to do is as soon as you load in, you're going to look to the left and sprint all the way over here to where this um, debris is. You're going to jump up on this rock, jump to this piece of debris. It's very thin, so be careful on it. Then you're going to sprint and jump over to this crash ship. Once you're here, you're going to make your way to the left side, all the way up here. Now, I fell down this hole, but it doesn't matter because there are two ways to exit, which is from this hole here or this hole here. Now, what this does is it actually skips a loading trigger, where uh, normally there would be a bunch of enemies in this section. But since you skip that trigger, nothing's going to actually spawn in. So you can make your way through this section without having to actually fight any enemies. Which is very convenient for the legendary difficulty. Now up here there's going to be a Wraith and two Ghosts. On easy difficulty we take the Ghost because it's faster. But on legendary we take the Wraith. Because it is very hard to acquire a plasma pistol to hijack the wraith that we would normally take on easy. And if you don't get the wraith, there are no power weapons in uh, any of the upcoming sections that will help you take out the hunters. Which means you'll have to use your DMR and assault rifle, which does not work very well and is not fast. So yeah, just going to be constantly driving through here. Make sure as you around this corner, you want your boost to be filled up all the way to 100%. This wraith is kind of blocking me. So uh, normally I don't shoot the wraith, so it doesn't get my attention. But there he was actually uh, blocking the way I needed to go. Make sure you boost through that section as quickly as you can to take the least amount of damage that you can. So your wraith will be in full health for this battle. The key to this battle here is to try to pick off the grunts with the field rod cannons first because they are the most dangerous enemies because they're the most mobile. So you can see I'm doing a terrible job of demonstrating that. Afterwards you want to take out the hunters because once again they are the most deadly uh, enemies in this room because the field rod gun can do a lot of damage to the wraith. Now, in this room, I there are two uh, field rod grunts. So far, I've only killed one, and I think I may have just killed the second one there. Now, to finish this room off, you're going to want to take out your DMR to kill the last few enemies, and then start main lane immediate, immediately. Like this. Once Del Rio starts talking, you're going to get a checkpoint. If you get the checkpoint before Del Rio's audio begins, that means you will not be able to perform this skip. This skip just has you reload the last checkpoint once he starts talking, and in-game his dialogue will go silent. You won't be able to hear it no more. This will actually save about 15 seconds or so, compared to if you were going to actually listen to all the dialogue. See the door opened early? And now we're able to run up here and wait to access the button. Now, easiest way to do this is grab two uh, rockets. We grab a rocket launcher, use two frag grenades, break the mantis shields. I missed the second one, and then two rockets should destroy the mantis. Now, we destroy the mantis because it is actually quicker to do so because getting in and out of the Mantis has a very long loading animation, or very long animation. Watch out here, usually I usually like to pick off the Grunt with the Fuel Rod, because he's the most dangerous. You're gonna make your way to this little hallway on the right side. 
And once again, we don't take the Mantis because the Mantis walks very slow and takes a lot of damage. And it's uh, better to move on foot above the enemies. Now, once you're on this corner, there's going to be four uh, Grunts with field, rod, field Rods. They are the most important target to take out because one shot from the Field Rod will kill you. Other than that, this method is actually pretty safe. Just want to round the corner. Careful as you jump. You don't want to jump off or else you'll be in lots of trouble. And just keep hugging the left side of this area as we run through. I like to try to take out these uh, Field Rod Grunts because they can actually damage you and make it shoot at you. And then there's one more here to shoot at. After that, uh, you're pretty much in the clear. The only thing to be careful of is needles. Needles can uh, super combine you from pretty long distances. So once you get the elevator, get to the right side so that any spare needlers or people behind you won't be able to shoot at you. And that's that entire section done. Now the second half of Infinity is much simpler than the first half. And it's pretty easy to just watch this one or two times and see the route and what to do. Is anything too uh, detrimental or too challenging in this section. Now once you're here, you should have two rockets left. Because we used four rockets to destroy the Mantis and there are six rockets total. If you're out here, you're going to aim for the right jammer first. Shoot it, then you're going to run and aim for the middle jammer. If your rocket misses, that's fine. You can still shoot the far jammer from where we're going to go next. Grab rockets right there, just in case you need them. And start aiming immediately for the third jammer. And then afterwards, begin to focus your fire on the phantom. I have a field hard grunt over there shooting at me, but that's fine. He won't hit me. So try to take out this phantom as quickly as possible. And then aim your attention to the Banshee. There's a lot going on in this section, but there's a few waves that we're actually going to skip. So once this second wave of phantoms comes in, you want to immediately aim and try to take out that turret gunner that's on the side, as he'll do the most damage to you. And once this phantom starts moving towards the left, you want to try to blow it up immediately. Before. Good. Now, the combination of standing in this corner and destroying the phantoms in this specific sequence will make it so that it skips the entire wave and despawns the last third wave. And the way you know you got this skip is if this phantom leaves in a very fast manner. These two phantoms over here will despawn, and then these will not be dropped off. Plus, the quicker you kill that la the second phantom, the quicker this one will spawn in. So let's get in for that guy in the side seat, so he doesn't shoot you with the turret, because that will do the most damage. Now, a uh, word of caution, before you destroy that second phantom, it is very vital that... Uh, you don't destroy him before he starts moving leftwards. If you destroy him beforehand, the skip will work. It'll spawn the last wave, but it'll it'll keep the phantoms around around longer, which will do more damage to you. And it's just a lot harder. So after that, you can check, make sure there's no more enemies around, and then you can press the button, and the mission is complete. And it's really that simple. Just go to the left corner. Destroy the phantoms in this certain sequence. Make sure you don't destroy the second one too soon. I'm not for sure what happens if you destroy it too late. I actually have never encountered that scenario. Oh, there's a jackal alive. And then after that, you have to wait around. There's a nice place to actually hide over here if there are enemies alive. Down this little pocket here. So if there are enemies alive, you can crouch and hide in this hot pocket and nothing will ever find you. But other than that, that's it for Infinity. The second half is completed and it is for sure the easiest portion. The next mission we'll be covering is going to be Reclaimer. And that mission is filled with lots of tricks, so that'll hopefully be out soon. Thank you for watching.